matter how big a foodie you are, there is a point in time when you can't say yes to more food. I feel like that right now. I feel like I've eaten the entire world. It's some poor now. And to think that just an hour back, I was ready to grab anything edible and vegetarian. I've heard of this place called Sampurna Global on Velacheri Bypass Road. Now what I didn't know was this place was renamed as Haven Sampurna. So you can imagine the confusion I went all around the place by the time I got here. But now that I've got here, it's time to say Bon Appetit! 2007, three of us, me, my cousin Murthy and a cousin called Nagraj who runs a software company in Hyderabad and a cousin who is a VC in US. We wanted to start an outdoor catering company. So we started off in 2007 as Sampurna Catering Foods Private Limited. Then we hit upon the idea to start a uh, restaurant, which we located a place in Velicheri, which was called as Sampurna Global. Then in 2010, as we couldn't get a trademark for that uh, particular name, we changed to Haven Sampurna. And uh, we went around testing the market. We came to conclusion that Hotels offer either continental or North Indian or South Indian or burgers, but there is no place which offers everything. So we hit upon the idea to give all these things in one go. The place is indeed haven providing shelter for all those hungry refugees who say, I need something quick to eat. I was a unique refugee who said, I want everything that can be brought to me quick. Definitely. The place is fresh with limited seating, the plush white interiors and the counter with the salad bar carries with it the fast food look. It's a combination of a cafe and a salad bar. But the menu lists items beyond all this. So began my journey to try them all. And no points for guessing what I started with. Chokri chat. It refers to this cute little basket made of potatoes that are cut into thin long strips intertwined together and fried. Cute, isn't it? Must be a tough task. And this basket carries channa, peas, alu, onions, chutneys, chat masala and the heat. In a word, chatpata. No trace of garlic, not so pretty meaty flavour. If you want to move out of regular Indian fare and try something from the world cuisine, you can choose from continental to Italian. Well, I chose both. I opted for a corn on toast from the continental section and creamy tomato spaghetti from the Italian. I felt like penne pasta and requested Sai Priya Mahindran's wife to prepare the creamy tomato with penne instead of spaghetti. And she kindly obliged. Corn on toast, I expected toast with lots of white sauce, lots of corn, lots of cheese. But here's a pleasant surprise. I like the tomato gravy to start with. Mm. And it's blended with cheese, making it more buttery. The toast, of course, is no longer crisp. It's turned out to be soggy because I think it has drawn in the essence of the gravy. But I enjoy it nevertheless. It's like enjoying the soggy tea dipped side of the biscuit. It seems like a tomato day. I have here creamy tomato pasta. Mm. The pasta is well cooked and it has a certain homemade flavour to it. Perhaps because I don't taste the overdose of oregano in it, which I'm not a fan of. And this pasta has a certain Indian masala flavour and colour. of this place is the salad bar. 
just when you think you are overeating, you can restrict yourself to this counter and rely on some healthy diet. Though they have some interesting salads listed on the menu, I love to make my own salad because I'm quite fussy. I want a salad without mushroom but lots of olives, without onions but lots of corn, without mayo but lots of mint. I come here every day, uh, work right next door and for me I need a quick lunch and a healthy one and nothing healthier than salads and soups. So my favorite combination is the uh, Spanish corn salad, it's got jalapenos in it, I gotta have spicy food. They've got the most awesome Spanish corn salad because it's spicy and it's sweet because of the honey mustard and one of the tastiest dishes that I've had here is the tali. Sampurna offers exotic preparations in mocktails. A dash of lemon and mint in soda becomes a mojito mocktail. Their experimental nature extends to desserts as well. A magai mita pan is shredded and blended with vanilla ice cream, making it a unique pan ice cream. fan of magai pan to enjoy this. Do not misjudge the flavour by just having the first spoon. A couple of spoons and it begins to grow on you. Now if you want to enjoy such unique delights with me, Anu or Santosh, here's your chance. All you have to do is answer this question. The question for this week's Feeding Frenzy contest is which continent produces most chocolate? A. Africa B. Europe or C. Asia. Send in your answers to feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. So we come back to where we started. More food. Time out. Break please. <laughs>